Hi everyone, so season 23 has brought with it a rework for the Firebirds build. A lot of people are playing that meta, including myself, including a lot of people that come to my stream. And I hear that many have lots of lag issues. So I can show you a way of how to solve them. First of all, you have to see that there are different kinds of lags and freezes. There is one where the game stops entirely and freezes and just crashes maybe in some cases. And there is the other so-called server lag, where the game has too many calculations going on and the servers can't catch up with it. So these are two different things. One is kind of like a client problem and the problem with the game itself, with the patch or I don't know, whatever might be causing it. And the other is just a game gameplay issue, so to say. So you can play around the server lags and I want to show you a way for both. So I don't have an example for it right now, but when the game stops entirely and freezes and nothing happens anymore, or it just starts stuttering heavily on your FPS, even though you have a good machine and everything should be running smoothly, then you can do the so-called freeze fix. So what you have to do for that is you have to download Heroes of the Storm and there's a file fmodex64.dll in that Heroes of the Storm folder. And you have to take that and put it into one of your Diablo folders, namely the x64 folder, which has an identically named file. And replace it and launch the game, and it will solve most of those freezes and game crashes. The downside is that all your sound will be turned off. So if you enjoy the game sound, you cannot do this. And personally, I don't know a better way of doing it, but for me, this helped a lot. I actually got really bad FPS. Uh, early on in the season when they started playing the Firebirds and I did this and I, everything has been fine since. I did crash here and there like two or three times in around 40 hours of gameplay now or something. But, so it's not too bad, it does happen, but it's very few and far in between compared to before. This fix is nothing really new and I also have the file here on my uh, the free panel channel. I just dropped it here in case you don't want to try uh, downloading the game. You can just get this file here and put that into your Diablo folder. It's important that you have your Diablo launcher already active when you do this. And it will uh, give you the option to start the game because if you turn off your launcher, you will uh, get an uh, update notification and the game will repair the file and it won't work. So whenever you get the update button, you need to do the fix again and then you can press play and start the game. So occasionally the launcher tries to fix itself and you just have to copy it again, but it's just a matter of a few seconds and then you're fine. Now the other type of lag that some people might be experiencing is from high GR pushing with Firebirds. So especially when you uh, go to higher tiers, when you have two Firebirds wizards in a four-man party, you might be seeing something like this here where the game can't keep up. This is the so-called server lag. And this comes from just having too much density, too many calculations. This has been in the game with many different builds, in some cases even in solo builds. And it always comes from either too many dots, too much area damage, or similar effects. And it can also come from too many uh, crowd control effects, especially knockback effects, because they also cause a lot of server strain. So we have seen this, for example, with God the Edge, uh, when, they, when they have a God support, with the bolas and they just go ham with the bolas and to pull everything like twice a second or three times a second, you can lag out the server like this. And similar with the Firebirds, where you have a dot on everything and you have like maybe 50, 100 of targets or something and the server just don't have a chance. So the only real way to play around this is to just make smaller pulls. Luckily, Firebirds doesn't really require density to work, so it's a very strong single target build, a very strong like small AOE build and especially with the mirror image build you don't need those big pulls to succeed really. So this is something to be mindful about. You can do some changes to the setup. For example you can run instead of the Chaos Nexus rune on this integrate that randomly has these little beams here that go all over the place to all targets. You can try to run a rune that is like a, a straight beam that doesn't go randomly so you can control which targets are ignited. Or in such a pool you can go back to another floor. You can uh, run away a few screens and usually the ignite will disappear from those targets. So you can see when you start lagging out 
and just try to avoid lagging out in the first place when you know that the targets won't die fast enough. On the lower tiers you don't notice this too much, but on the higher tiers, especially after 110, 115, 120, uh, when stuff doesn't immediately explode, you can really notice that. Also, you should make sure that there's no area damage on the wizards and also on the supports. Like, no one in the group should have area damage here because Firebirds doesn't work with it, so it's absolutely pointless for anyone to use it in those parties. In the end, it comes down to a bit of experience, so you can kind of try to feel when this lag would start and then try to maybe the, pull some of the enemies out with the C bar, Rage Flip, or just try to move on to like a smaller pool, try to get a few of the targets in and uh, kill some of them off. Especially Illusionist packs can be a big issue because they create huge density all at once out of nowhere, so when they pop the illusions you might lag out. So this happens also. Our group is blasting 122, 125 all day, no problem. We clear those runs in like 3-4 minutes every time and we quite rarely lag out because you play around this and it's not really that difficult. You can see you know, certain monster types of like many small little trash monsters. They have a lot of density and you get a feel for how many targets you can handle. And when you have these large poles, maybe don't try to jump right into the middle, but rather clean up a little bit from the side first, and then you go in the middle and you get a ground stump from the barb and obliterate everything just a few seconds later. So I hope that this knowledge helps you to reduce the lag. For some people, they are crashing all the time. For others, they have this lag issue, and most people are not really clear on the terminology. So keep in mind, there are two different types of these lags. There's the freezes, the game crashes, all this stuff, and then there's this server lag. And these are different things, they're not connected in any way. So I hope you enjoyed this little video and I hope it helps you. And see you guys next time.